that boats of this size can navigate without the locks and weirs this will be a much faster much shallower river and I, I wouldn't be able to navigate this vessel in this area it also helps prevent flooding by having the weirs they can be opened and closed see the size standing on the side <laughs> to serve the cream teas and as I said if you'd like to eat them up here you're more than welcome to it is hilarious watching you try to eat them on your lap if you'd like to use a table downstairs you're also more than welcome to go down as well uh, I will stop the commentary until we get to Millionaire's Row I will then point out some of the houses of the rich and famous I'll also point out my they're now very, very good houseboats the only issue with them is they're quite hard to manoeuvre as you saw, the uh, locks there aren't particularly huge, and so getting them in and out of the lock can be quite difficult. See, I don't think special about this Dutch barge, but uh, that sounds plausible, and you'll be none the wiser. If you do know the answer, you should have asked the question in the first place. And so the water is going from the from the front to the back, heading towards London. As we go inside, we'll take our lines from our boat. We will put. Wait for me to watch you try and do it. Otherwise, uh, there are tables and chairs downstairs, which are much more suited for uh, dining at. It's completely your choice. And then when we get past here, we'll do another commentary about Millionaire's Row and how the other half live. This is all new. This always be all truth. Well, apart from the brick building, it was all trees, of course. give you by the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency. It's to let you know the emergency exits from the vessel are via the gateway on the left hand side to which you boarded. The alternative is in the forward cabin on the right hand side. Alternative exits are over the open sides of the upper deck or through the sliding windows downstairs in the bar saloon areas. In the highly unlikely event of an emergency occurring, please follow any instructions given to you by your skipper or crew in a calm and orderly fashion. Life-saving equipment on the vessel consists of rings stored around the outside of the upper deck and float-free life rafts stored on the roof of the front cabin. That's the boring bit out of the way. This is the, my name is James, I'm your skipper today. I'll be driving the boat in a vaguely straight line from here up to Cookham, back through to uh, Millionaire's Row and back here where we started. The crew on board today is Tim. He will be jumping on and off the boat at certain
pay the extra two pounds for the sunshine day, right? Yeah. The estate itself is now a, a grade one listed building. It has a, a very interesting history. Unfortunately, I can't get the information I need.